Hey guys, thanks for coming back. Today we have a new beer for you and a video. The beer is one from Bramari again, Neon Ghosts. And we've got Paris, Texas. This will be the first time we're listening to them. And the name of the song is Girls Like Drugs. So, uh, interesting. We'll be right back. All right, today we are doing another Bramari beer, which, right. uh, guys, we just heard that they lost their lease, I guess, in Asheville. Oh, that's bad. So we, we've got the one here in Charlotte, but, uh, you know, Bramari in uh, Asheville is how I found them. So hopefully everything works out and they get something, or a new space or something. So hmm. keep on fighting, guys. Well, we'll keep drinking their beer. Yes. It's yummy. So this is called uh, Neon Ghost. It's an India Pale Ale with so IPA? the hops are Mosaic and El Dorado. El Dorado. Pretty classic combination. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. There you oh, go. yeah. That'd be looking. So let's... Pretty uh, fizzy head that dissipates fairly quickly. I can already smell it from here. So, yeah. So now we've got a nice... I wouldn't say pillowy head, very effervescent head. Uh, almost looks like a sea foam type of, on top. Very clean, very light mm -hmm. uh, and white. And then, of course, it looks like... It looks like grapefruit juice. Yep, grapefruit juice, yeah. orange juice. It's like very uh, cloudy. Can't really see anything through this. Right. Um, doesn't really coat the glass too much either from what I can get through the head. Hmm. I'm ready. Ooh, that's definitely citrus. You definitely get orange on the nose. You're still smelling, I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. He's already drinking it. And you pick up the, the hoppiness, but it's not overly piney in the on the smell. You're kind of describing the way it tastes too, as you'll see. Yeah. Oh, right. very mellow. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't hit you hard with the hops. It's not some one of those um uh, uh, traditional like West Coast IPAs where it's um, really heavy pine flavor mm -hmm. in the hops. Um, I guess it was more kind of a dry hop on this one, possibly, maybe. Let's see, what the does it give us a little hint on the brewing on here? Do, 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 do. 6.4% alcohol by volume. Um, no, it's just a good, solid little hazy IPA. And for those of you who aren't fans of IPAs like me, this might be for you. Yeah. Because I get more of the citrus. Uh -huh. Not very More like a citrus rind. Like you're yeah. eating like really good orange chicken. And they put that chicken shaved, in, shaved. Chicken in my beer. Yeah. <laughs> well, the shaved orange part. Right. With that little bit of like syrupiness with it. Um, mm -hmm. Without coating your palate too much. It's not like heavy on your tongue. Very light. Very smooth. No um, strong aftertaste either, uh, uh, which is what I don't like about a lot of IPAs, mm. is that pine aftertaste. Damn, that's really good. Yeah, this mm. is good. Mm, 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 well, mm, mm, Bramari hasn't really let us down so far. <laughs> I'm telling you, everything we've had from them, if you guys can get Bramari, get it. Go, go somewhere, go pick it up. If you can't, you've got Beer Drop. And then we're also talking to our friends uh, at Bavana. So you might want to talk to them about getting some of the local beers from the Charlotte, Asheville, North Carolina areas. It's well worth it. You're missing out if you don't live in North Carolina. I'm sorry. Right. Um, but yeah, awesome. So what are you thinking? I like it a lot. Like I said, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Look at the comedy. I'm not sure left. if you started off at the same level. <laughs> you definitely have gone down. Quickly. Woo. Um, for an IPA, this is great. Oh. Uh, I mean, honestly, I've had IPAs that are nowhere near as thick looking yeah and that come off heavier way heavier yeah uh so you know don't be deceived by how this looks it's actually quite light and refreshing so. mm -hmm. a good way to put it so what are you gonna put it rating wise i'm gonna give it a four wow that's good wow for, for me so i was gonna do four high four i'm saying um if I were rating it, it'd probably be in that four, three, four, five range. Okay. Um, just because I like it to have a little bit more hop to it. Um, 
But you know what? It's a well-rounded hop flavor. If you are drinking during the summer and just need a nice, refreshing, good IPA, this is the one. Mm -hmm. I concur, sir. Mm. And that's yummy. All right, so other than that. We're pretty much done. I think if we're you done. want to watch us finish drinking the rest for some reason, yes. we have a music video. Uh, the group is Paris, Texas, right? Yep, and then uh, it'll pop up down here as uh, kind of its uh, a twin that'll be a uh, link to it. So you can go straight to it. And then some other beer reviews as well. Okay, guys. Alrighty. We'll talk See to you on the soon. next one. Cheers. Later. Cheers.